Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to go over the top 35 ranked Linux distros. So don't come at me in the comment section. This is just what people think in the community. All right. So without further ado, let's get right to it. We're going dark. So here's a ranking of the top 35 Linux distros as of February 2025 this month. I'm going to start 35 and then I'm going to end up with one. Uh, we have MX Linux. Next, Endeavor OS. Next, Linux Mint. Ubuntu, Pop OS, Fedora, Manjaro, Debian, Linux Lite, OpenSUSE, Zorin OS, Catchy OS, Nobara, KDE Neon, AntiX, Vanilla OS, Elementary OS, Tuxedo OS, Nix OS, Deepin, Garuda Linux, Kali Linux, Sparky Linux, Kubuntu, Tails. Now, this is when we get into the top 10, right? Starting with 10, and we're going to end up at 1. So, Tails, Arch Linux, Linux Mint Debian Edition, LMDE also. You have the Zubuntu, that's the X-U-B-U-N-T-U. -U -U. You have the Lubuntu, L-U-B-U-N-T-U. -U. We have Solace, Puppy Linux, Parrot OS, Gintu, Slackware, Alpine Linux. So it's important to note that this ranking is based on a combination of factors, including DistroWatch. You guys love DistroWatch, so don't even play. DistroWatch is one of the leading le leading Linux news outlets, right? So don't even play. So this list is a combination of DistroWatch, you know, Google Trends, right? The data and recent discussions in the Linux community. So the popular and ranking of Linux distributions can fluctuate over time and may vary depending on the specific metrics used. So I don't want you guys out here wilding on me, okay? This is this is not me. This is what the world thinks right now. The list is fluid. So if you like this video so far and you're getting value and you got what you came here for, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. If you got what you came here for, if you like the content, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. So now I want to... Uh, get into some of the news of the day from Linux. Uh, and we have a article uh, courtesy of ZDNet. And it's basically talking about a Linux tool that was forgotten. Let me know in the comment section as I talk about it, if you have forgotten this tool. So the tool is uh, Synaptic and it makes software installation a breeze. So let's talk about this article. So, you know, basically how to install the software uh, you, you know, basically they said the only thing you'll need for this is the Ubuntu slash Debian based distribution that includes Synaptic. If your distribution of choice doesn't use this GUI and you would like to try it, you can install it with the command and Peter, you can put that code on the screen. So you're going to want to open Synaptic, click on your desktop menu icon and search for Synaptic, depending on the Linux distribution you use. And, you know, the location of Synaptic may vary. When you open Synaptic, you'll be prompted, you know, for your user password after successful authentication. The Synaptic main window will appear, right? And Peter, you could put that code on the screen for the viewers. Uh, you know, to search for the software to be installed, click search in the upper right corner of the Synaptic window, then type the name of the software you want to install. For example, if you want to install the Audacity audio recorder, type Audacity when prompted and hit enter on your keyboard. So from the results, click the checkbox associated with Audacity. Then from the drop down, click mark for installation. Audacity will return the several dependencies that must be installed. So click mark to confirm the installation of the dependencies. So finally hit apply and then when prompted, click apply for a second time the installation will begin and should finish without issue so you know how to upgrade with synaptic is as goes 
uh, open the upgrade window, uh, you know, because you can also upgrade your installed software with Synaptic. So click mark all upgrades in the toolbar and a new pop-up will appear listing all additional, you know, required changes. Mark the changes if you're okay with what's about to be installed. Click mark, a new pop-up will appear. So click mark in the new pop-up then. When prompted, click apply a second time and this will launch the upgrade process. When the upgrade is complete, click close to dismiss changes applied pop-up. So, you know, you can also fix broken installations. So every so often an installation might go sideways with the app package manager. And this is resolved with the F option as in, and Peter, you could put that code on the screen for the viewers, okay? So there are other synaptics tricks that you can use. You can lock a package version. Uh, you can purge an app. You can view app properties and you can view a screenshot of the app. So this is a really cool tool, guys. Uh, th this really, in my opinion, takes things to the next level. You know, um, you know, in, in regards to viewing the screenshot of the app, if you want to see a screenshot of the app you're about to install, you can mark it for installation and then click get screenshot from the application description. So this will download and open a screenshot so you can see what the application looks like. Kind of like getting you a sneak peek or a preview. So uh, if you find your distribution of choice that includes the synaptic GUI, I guess it's highly recommended you consider using it as it's generally faster than more modern GUIs. And it makes it easier to view details about packages. It helps fix things that, you know, may go awry. And obviously it can help purge applications, which supposedly other GUIs cannot do. Okay. So uh, I don't know guys, you know, um, <laughs> that, that, that is, that is, that is unique. I, I don't think I've heard of something like that before. Uh, you know, so that, that, that's pretty unique. So that is what I have for you today. Please hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you gain value from this video and you got what you came here for, if you got what you came here for, you liked it, you know, there's value in this video. You learned something new. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button. So I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.